Meet UKIP's bag ladies, Dottie and Joan, on a day out from Bolton. So it's the Dottie and Joan Club. That's right, that's us. Well, actually, posh and scary. Yeah. Posh and scary, yeah. so she which, which one's which? She's posh and I'm You're scary. scary. <laughs> you don't scare me. <laughs> but in this by-election, UKIP hopes to scare Labour, accusing the party of betraying their roots. People are just coming up to me unsolicited saying, I've had enough of Labour, I think they betrayed us, betrayed the working class, I'm going to vote for UKIP. But, you know, that was a, that was a, a constituency, it is a constituency that's painted deep red for 40 years. It's changing. Backing UKIP, Christine and Neil Hamilton. He was once Tory MP for the next door seat of Tatton. A couple not normally lost for words. People remember the brown envelopes, don't they, and what happened... Uh... In Tatton, do you really think you're an asset to your party? And UKIP didn't want you to be a, on the uh, European candidates list, did they? Is it possible to have one of your leaflets, please, Mr Hamilton? Can you have a leaflet, please? Let's, um, I'll ring and find out. Yeah. I mean, you two make your living out of talking, and now you're, you've gone all silent on us. Labour's Mike Kane was out with Yvette Cooper. With her husband dead bull, she's been named on a UKIP leaflet here as being one of Labour's out-of-touch millionaires who've caused working-class voters here to desert. All of the people we've just spoken to have all said they're voting Labour, they want to get the Tories out, and they're worried about the things that we're talking but, about, that talking about. There are, there are no traditional about. Labour people switching to UKIP. Have you not met any of them? We've not, I've not talked to them today, and as I said, look, no, we don't take any vote we, for granted. We've not but found anybody this morning. And I, I, Maybe the, you've not spoken the, to many people. The, the, the London elite thing, I mean, I grew up on a council estate like this, just, just up the road, so uh, it's as but, far uh, as the London elite could possibly I mean, be, Michael. And, and <laughs> are, you an, are you an Ed Balls millionaire? I don't think so. Does, do we look? <laughs> just so we, wouldn't that be nice? Well, <laughs> I mean, this is on the basis you know, of your well, homes. Yeah, you know... I think know. this is nonsense, Michael. The Tories have picked an Anglican vicar who's swapped the dog collar for a velvet collar. He's very young, 26, and rather raw. So how many members have you got in with insurance, say, at least? Well, you'd have to ask the member's officer about that. You don't even know. I'm not the member's officer. No, but you, I would have thought the candidate would have some idea of how many party members there are. As I said, is we've had... A dozen? A hundred? We've a had thousand? We've had plenty of help, don't worry about that. The party deny charges they're not really taking this campaign seriously. Of course we're taking it seriously. The fact that I'm up here, the fact that you've had people like Chris Grayling up, Grant Shapps, the party chairman, has been up. This is a campaign we are fighting hard. To come we second. Are, we are fighting hard on this campaign. We're realistic. We haven't had a Conservative MP here since 1959, but we're out there with a very positive message about what we in conser as Conservatives are doing with our long-term economic plan. As for the Lib Dems, the only two placards we saw were on the candidate's house and the house next door, and we couldn't find their campaign HQ. So where is your headquarters then? We, it's... we can't find it. <laughs> now, this is a Liberal Democrat campaign, and, and it's very much a community campaign. And yep, other parties so might have house, lots of it? money. Exactly, other parties have lots of money for big flashy uh, shop fronts. Um, but yeah, it's my dining room table. Labour should win this one fairly comfortably. There's not been the oomph about UKIP's campaign we've seen in some other places. I still expect Nigel Farage's party to do very well, probably coming second, thereby embarrassing the Tories again, and especially the Liberal Democrats. They seem very long, these. But no you could problem. say the stakes are high in this by-election. <laughs> Such a raised expectations UKIP know that if they don't come at least second, it could be quite a blow. Michael Crick, Channel 4 News, Withenshaw and Sale East. <laughs>